Welcome to our tutorial about zebra stripes. You've seen me use this type of analysis already, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to apply it. Zebra stripes is another tool used to evaluate the smoothness of your surfaces. I've got a spline, an arc, and two lines in model space. Let's go to the parametric tab and show all geometric constraints. Here's a tangent relation between the arc and the line. And here I've just got a coincident relation between the two lines. Between the arc and the spline, I've got a G2 geometric continuity. Let's extrude this geometry now. Home tab, extrude command, select our geometry. Right click and enter to finish the selection. Now we specify the height. Let's switch to realistic view and take a look at our geometry. Remember, we didn't have to choose the mode to end up with a surface because we didn't have a closed profile. Okay, let's go to the Surface tab, Analysis Panel, Analysis Options. Zebra is the first tab. Let's opt to select our surfaces. Click Select Objects to Analyze. We make our selections and right click when we're finished selecting. This gets us back to the dialog window. Let's use the slider to adjust the stripe direction. Horizontal and vertical are the two ends of the spectrum. Type of stripes, we can use chrome ball or cylinder. Now how can you understand the difference between the chrome ball and the cylindrical type of stripes? With chrome ball, Try to imagine that your model is reflective and it's located in a spherical room with black and white stripes. With cylinder, imagine that your model's in a cylindrical room with black and white stripes. Stripe size, we've got thick, medium, thin, etc. We can also choose both colors for the stripes. We don't have to stick with black and white. Let's click OK. As I rotate my model, I can easily see the difference in curvature types. First, a simple connection, no tangency, and abrupt transition. Here we've got tangency. Here we have tangency and matching curvature. The transition here is much smoother than with only tangency. Let's take a look at another example. Just bring in another model. Analysis options. Select Objects to Analyze. Let's choose our geometry, right click. And let's get the cone on top as well. Right click to finish. Let me show you the difference between the cylinder and chrome ball types of analysis. OK. And this concludes our tutorial about using zebra stripes.